used to working on a PC, this video will show you some of the basic differences of using a Mac. The functions you're used to accessing on a PC start menu are accessed using the finder and the dock. Hard drives, servers and inserted drives are easily accessed by the icon that pops up on the desktop. Please remember that the finder is similar to the start menu on a PC. To locate anything on your hard drive, click the finder icon on the dock. You can navigate your hard drive, disks, external hard drives and even recent work that you've completed. Programs, or what we like to call applications, are located in the finder. Access this here or double click on your hard drive icon on the desktop. You can view your files as icons, lists, in a column view, or even cover flow. This makes it even easier to access everything on your hard drive. The dock, in some ways, is similar to Windows Taskbar. The dock is a row of icons for easy access to your most used applications. It shows you which applications are open and even holds them when they are minimized. On this side of the dotted line, you will also notice these folders. They're called stacks. By default, there are two stacks in the shape of folders. One is named Documents, the other Downloads. Please note that you can change these stacks at any time. When you click on a stack, it will spring open in either a grid or a fan, depending on how many items are within it or whatever preference you set. And finally the trash, located on the far right of the dock. This is similar to Windows Recycle Bin. To delete an item, just drag it to the trash. If by mistake you have put an item into the trash and you can't remember where it was before, then simply locate the item in the trash and right click on the item and select Put Back. To right click, hold the control key on your keyboard and click the trackpad. To fully delete an item from the trash, either right click the trash icon and select empty trash or click the finder and then empty trash. To open an application on the dock, just click its icon. Notice that when an application is running, there is a white dot located underneath it on the dock. To add or remove an icon to the dock, whether it be applications or stacks, just simply drag and drop. To add an application, just drag its icon to the dock. To remove an application, just drag its icon to an empty area on your desktop and let go. But please do not worry, this doesn't delete the application from your computer, it just simply removes it from the dock. If you have a few applications open, you can easily switch between them. Notice the menu bar changes depending on what application is selected. To navigate between open applications, in Windows you would use Alt and Tab together. On a Mac, just use Command and Tab. And remember, on your Mac you can use Expose. This is a great little feature. It makes it even easier to switch between open applications. Use the F9 or F3 Expose key on newer Macs. You might not have known this, but you can right click on a Mac. The Mighty Mouse and Magic Mouse both have two button functionality. If you're using a laptop with no mouse, then easily hit control and click the trackpad. Go to the Apple menu, select System Preferences, or the System Preferences icon on the dock. Here you can customize your mouse, desktop wallpaper, screen savers, or even parental controls and much, much more.
One of the main differences people come across when they've switched from a PC to a Mac is the actual windows. On a PC, clicking the blue Maximize button causes the window to occupy the whole screen. On a Mac, the green button increases the size to a footprint best for viewing. You can drag the window here to resize it to full screen. The amber button will minimize the window to the dock and the red button closes the window. But please note that if you're within an application, this will not actually close the application, it just closes the window. To close an application from within it, go to the menu bar and select quit or just hit the command and Q keys on the keyboard. For more Mac tutorials, news, tips and tricks, join us at macamorphosis.com. Thank <laughs> you.